everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python's World. I hope you guys have had a fantastic day. I'm doing really, really well. I just looked through all of the comments on the last episode for our very, very first Dragon Challenge episode. And a lot of you guys really, really seem to enjoy that kind of episode, which is really, really awesome to see. The amount of like ratings, the amount of suggestions coming in for future Dragon and Wither challenges. Really do appreciate it, folks. So a big, a big thank you. Many thank yous. I appreciate it, folks. So, in today's episode, we are going to be working once again on the tower. And we are actually going to start off with the common question of the video. Because it's going to be one of the things we do in today's episode. So, Fordboy2005 says, Use a part of the tower to store your armor from this and the other times even from the wither. He is, of course, referring to the gear that we use to take down the wither or the dragon on each challenge occasion. So, for example, our first one, our first little monument might go here, for example. And we'll have an armor stand with the gold armor that we used and maybe a little chest or some item frames showing the stuffs that we were using for that particular challenge and maybe with a sign to say when it was done what episode what date you know all that kind of stuff so yeah that'd be really really awesome but we'll get to that a little bit later in today's episode because to start off with i need to go ahead and make some staircases that is right my friends it would be nice if we actually had a way to get up to the other floors without having to fly up so uh yeah that'd be great wouldn't it <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, look at all these saplings. Good old slaplings. Oh, got all of the slaplings, eh, guys? <laughs> oh dear. So, in terms of what we're going to be using, we are going to be using a multitude of things. We've got glowstone. We've got leaves. We've got birch logs, which of course will be stripped to make uh, stripped birch logs. So that would be kind of cool. So yeah, guys, this is going to be really, really cool. So guys, if you're excited for this episode, as always, our like rating will be very much appreciated. But without further ado, how's about we actually make a bit of a start? So on the creative test world that I showed you guys in the, in well, not the last episode, the episode before, uh, I showed you guys the in, well, I don't, I don't know if I did show you guys the interior but basically the staircase is very very simple and consists only of spruce slabs right so all we're going to do is go around the corner here and maybe go up a little bit something like this and then as we go along and go all around the place we're going to continue going up so something rather like this so it's going to be a very very simple kind of deal my friends something which i don't think is going to take all that long so how's about we go ahead we make a bunch of progress we get the staircase case in and then we can make a bit of a start on the decoration. Uh, there we go. So check it out. We're now on the second floor or first floor, depending if you want to count the ground floor as a floor. I don't know. I, I feel like there's different building specifications for how you, you like count floors across the world. I don't know. But this will be classed as the ground floor. That'll be the first floor. And then as we go up, it'd be second, third, fourth, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, but here we go. We've got a very simple staircase going up and it's nice and symmetrical. It goes around the edge here and it just it sort of links up here to the second level, which is uh, which is awesome. So... All we need to do now is have this look a little bit better and make it look a little bit more decorated, a bit more sort of lived in, if you will. And then from there, I guess we can do some pretty awesome stuff. So uh, I'm going to start off with a little bit of leafage. We'll put some leaves on either side and uh, sort of give this place a little bit of depth. I thought what could be a good idea is, well, first of all, we need to go ahead and uh, replace the glowstone underneath the leaves, just so there's still light coming through. You know how it is. Uh, so, again, down here real quick. All right, and again down here real quick. Uh, but uh, basically what I want to do, just to give it a little bit more depth, is maybe we could do something like this, like add a little bit of that, a bit of a pillar kind of deal. So, one, two, three... Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Nice and simple. And again, around the side here. Boop, boop, boop. And these pillars are going to span all the way up to the ceiling as well. So, yeah. And if my calculations are correct, which I don't know if they are. Yeah, these should still fit in pretty well. But then again, if I do it here instead, then it can go all the way up to the roof uninterrupted. Ooh, that's a cool idea. So why don't we try that instead? We can make these pillars go all the way up to the roof, which is kind of what I want to do, because then, in my opinion, it would look sort of more uh, structurally sound, if you will. So if I head up here and then drop down and then maybe just build my way up, then I think we can have ourselves a pretty good thing going on here. So let's strip you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then again, uh, just go all the way up to the top here. Boof. And then we'll have to go ahead and break a block over here real quick, which I think is this one. 
one. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, and then boof, 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 and do the same over here. So again, we've got to go break this one, and then do all of this, and then we've got to solve some uh, some pretty nice looking pillars, right? So boop, do that, and all the way down. And I think this place is going to look pretty cool, my friends. Okay, and there we go. All right, how's it looking now? How's it looking now? Yeah, that's not looking bad, is it? And there's still plenty of place to roam around the edge here for whatever reason. Uh, well, for whatever function this place is going to have, should I say. Uh, so, yeah, not bad, not bad. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, get some more pillars in. And we'll try and decorate this bottom area as well. And hopefully we can make it look pretty good. Alrighty, guys. So at this point, I'm just trying out some different decorative stuffs just to see what exactly is going to work. I'm just in the process right now, of course of uh, decorating sort of these rails, handrails. Not really handrails, they're like leaf rails more than anything. But uh, let's have a look at it, shall we? So if we go downstairs, I've also decided to decorate the actual staircase itself. Uh, let's have a look. Hey, that's not looking bad, is it? That's not looking bad. I really like the fact that I use stone slabs for these undersides as opposed to the spruce slabs because the spruce slabs are all just merge into each other, wouldn't they? So the so the stone sort of adds a bit of a, a border to it, right? Yeah, I'm kind of liking that. I'm kind of liking that. And of course, we can go ahead and put ourselves some uh, flower pots on top of here. All will be well there. And all, and all we do is run up here and do, 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 do. Yay, we're up to the second floor. Fantastic. Brilliant stuff. All right, so things are looking good so far, guys. Things are looking good so far. Right, so uh, what would be a nice idea is if we were to just go ahead and continue on with this uh so do that and then we go up a block uh and then and then there's the glowstone all right looking good and then hmm just want to figure out what to do with the rest of this i mean we've got this block here this block here a couple of slabs here a little bit of that as well uh so if i continue this on then so do something like that and then the final one will probably go in there okay and then we sort of just do a little bit of that Kind of tempted to just make these go all the way up to the top. Eh. Uh, do I like that? I mean, eh. Uh, not entirely sure. Maybe what we could try and do. What if we rotate these so they're like that instead? Yeah, you see, I kind of like that better. I kind of like that better. And then what I'm going to do here, very, very simply, is just add in a bit of a fence. So people can't go ahead and just fall down to their deaths. Because that would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. Boof. Okay, boom, boom. And then another one just there. Okay, and let's strip all these bad boys away. And then rotate these. And then we're pretty much good. And then we need to get rid of the bottom section. And then, yeah, we really are good. Okay, so boof, 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 boof. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I'm tempted to move the glowstone. In fact, I've just had an idea. What if I put the glowstone here? And then we can have ourselves like a slab on top. That's not a slab. This slab. Huh. Yeah, I almost feel like that will work better because then the textures won't be broken up all that much there. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Gosh darn it, Python. Place in the right block. You dummy. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Well, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna continue trying to figure this out, and then uh, yeah, hopefully we can come back with a bit of a finished staircase design thing, I guess. Oh, ready to go. So after quite a while of dilly dallying and trying to figure out exactly how these pathways and staircases are supposed to go in, I've managed to figure out a pretty decent way of getting up way up to the top. That is right. I've actually made a full way to get up the top. So if we go in, we've got ourselves the ground floor here. This is probably going to be the room I convert into the trophy slash memento room. I think it'd be a cool idea. We can maybe even have a bit of a basement going down here and maybe this could go down to like a, a treasure cove or something like that a lot of you guys previously were saying that maybe we could get the treasure maps that we've used before and put them up on a wall i think that could be a cool idea and i feel like a basement would be the perfect place to do that because you think of a typical pirate ship right they normally like go underneath into the cabin to plot all of their courses and all that kind of stuff so maybe we go down here so we could plot our courses for future treasure hunts 
I don't know. I'm just throwing out thoughts and splurting out things off of my mind at the moment. But anyways, we go up and do 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 do. This is all looking good. We go up here. I decided to put some fences in here to try and break up the birch log texture. And as you can see, I think that's done it quite nicely. It's not the greatest looking thing in the entire world, it has to be said. But uh, here we go, my friends. This is the first floor or second floor, however you want to count it. Uh, not entirely sure what we could put in here yet. Uh, I, I'm envisioning one of these rooms becoming some sort of mini mini storage room or something like that just with chests all that kind of stuff i mean eventually i'd really like to make another rainbow shulker system like i made on my uh, on my original minecraft survival world uh, but here we go the second or third floor and then we go way up top here to the final floor the observatory floor with the platform outside you can see everything that's going on we've got the mansion down there floor of alleyway down there uh, past the clouds there <laughs> and all is looking well my friends all is looking well and yeah it's pretty simple to get back down as well so you just go right the way around just in circles basically do, 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 do. everything is looking good and then yeah we're back down the bottom and ready to get on with our adventures for the day awesome stuff so there we go my friends this tower in terms of being able to access it is pretty much there so Guys, we, need, we now need to go ahead, we need to grab ourselves some item frames and an armor stand and some various other things. And then we need to start going ahead and putting some mementos up. Like maybe we could have one side for like dragon and wither challenges. So maybe we could put our first one uh, here, for example. Like our first ever dragon challenge done in the last episode. And maybe on this side we can have like other stuffs that we've done in the series. Like... I don't know, taking down the dragon for the first time, taking down a wither for the first time, uh, all that kind of stuff, like our first elytra. I'm not entirely sure just yet. I'm not entirely sure. Like, what would you guys class as being major goals in a world? I'd be very interested to know what you guys have to come up with. But uh, yeah, I think a bit of a half and half procedure could work pretty nicely. So dragon and wither challenges and then uh, world mementos as we go along as well. So yeah. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Alrighty, guys. So let's get this thing under well, shall we? We're going to go ahead and place down a bit of glowstone, and the armor stand is going to go right there. Now, all of the stuff we had in the last episode are in here, as you can see. I'm very glad that we managed to keep behind the sword, at the very least. I mean, as you can see, you know, in the last episode, we got it down to zero durability, so we need to not accidentally wind up using it, because otherwise we could be in for a bit of a bad time, right? So, yeah. Anyway, so let's get the chest here. We're going to go ahead and put the gear that we used in there. I'm not going to put arrows in there because I don't really feel like uh, that's really worth doing. But we'll put these things in there like so uh, after I punch my mic. And uh, yeah, everything will be good. Good, so all we need to do is grab out a sign. I need to go ahead and get the date of when the last episode was. Although, actually, with that said, I think it was the 10th of June. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. So, here we go. And then maybe we could put, like, a dragon head above it so we know that it was a dragon challenge. Uh, gold gear dragon challenge. Uh, actually, we might need two signs. Like, one for the actual thing itself. So, gold gear dragon challenge. Uh, success. Yeah, okay. Dragon challenge. Maybe we can have that on one line. Ah, oh, that's a bit of a butt. Okay, how about that? Yeah, there we go. Uh, success. There we go. And then maybe down the bottom here, then, uh, yeah, we can go and do that. So, episode 55, uh, June 10th. Boop, June 10th, 2018. There we go. Look at that. There we go, and yeah, like I say, we could probably get a uh, dragon head, and then, yeah, this little memento area will be, you know, our first ever bit in the memento area will be done. Yeah, right, now then, do we actually have any dragon heads in our collection? I've got a feeling we might have at least one or two. Whoa, okay, I, oh, whoa, hey, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. What is with the frame rate? Six frames per second! Yeah, I really... Oh my god, this is unplayable. This is unplayable. Hang on, I need to sort this. I really do genuinely hope that all of the performance issues are indeed fixed for 1.13 because honestly, I've been having quite a lot of frame rate issues in the 1.13 snapshots. I mean, yeah, apparently there's like 250 entities. Most of it is going to be in that animal barn there, right? But it still doesn't take away from the fact that uh, the performance is absolutely shockingly bad. Like, you only need to look at the top right hand corner. We've got 16 gig allocated to the game out of a possible 64 gig, which I have installed in my computer. I've got an Intel Core i7-6950X Extreme Edition processor, for crying out loud, and a GTX 1080. There should be 
no issues whatsoever running this game. But sadly, there is. So, yeah. Oh, so we still got the dragon egg. I mean, we, we said we we're going to use that in the courtyard build, right? So that's all good and dandy. So yeah, let's go put this. Let's go put this dragon where it belongs. Oy. Okay. And down we go. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of pods all there. <laughs> okay, well, that's a thing. All right, and then we'll put you on there. Hey, look at it do. We have a little memento area. Oh, that is that is brilliant. I love that. <laughs> brilliant. All right, boop, screeny. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's going to be going in the thumbnail. <laughs> oh, dear. Brilliant stuff. All right, so, yeah, we're looking good. We've got the memento area up and running pretty much. We've got the, we've got the different uh, ways to get to the different floors pretty much done. So I think maybe the last thing we'll do in today's episode would be to go ahead and decorate this just a little bit. I mean, the decoration is pretty much there already, but maybe we can grab some plant pots and, uh, you know, keep the meme alive, as it were. I feel like it's been a while since we've actually used flower pots, and it's like sacrilege, isn't it? We can't, we can't not use flower pots, my friends. We just can't. It's not something that we can allow ourselves not to do. Right, boof. Right, do we have ourselves any more bricks or anything like that? Uh, you know what? I don't think... Oh, we don't seem to have that many flower pots left. We need to rectify that, don't we? Alrighty, nice and simple. Get these things placed in. Uh, how's the light levels? Ooh, I saw a six there. Yeah, we've got a six light level here. We need to go and rectify that, otherwise we're gonna have hostile mobs spawning in here. Uh, maybe, uh... Be very simply, all I could do is like add a bit of glowstone in like down here or something. Uh, maybe just like that. I mean, it's nice and simple, isn't it? I mean, it does the job. Yeah, okay. I'm kind of alright with that. Okay, so we've got the little plant pots going. We've got some glowstone in there to make sure the light levels are all good. Uh, how about down here, as a matter of fact? Uh, yeah, this is, this is all looking pretty good. All right, so we're looking good there, my friends. Now, the final thing I wanted to do, as well as, you know, decorating that, is also decorate the exterior here. Now, as you can see, we have this large area here, but if we had, oh, wait, I haven't got any firework rockets left. Whoops, I need to go get some of those, otherwise I can't fly around to show you guys stuff. Oh, dear. Bye, then. Stop being a nincompoop. Ah, so yeah, this is what I meant, ladies and gentlemen. If I just have a bit of a flyaway and then come back, as you can see... Wait, whoa, whoa. Okay, firework rocket's going a bit weird. Yeah, look, it, it looks very distinctly blocky, doesn't it? We need to make that look a little bit more natural. Maybe just by shaving some blocks off of the corners there, adding some leaves and such. Adding a bit of foliage never hurt, did it? Yeah, we definitely need to do something here at the very least, just to make it look a little bit more natural, as though to say, oh, hey, this has always been here, this belongs here, like, 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 get off my back, bro. <laughs> I don't know, man. Anyways, uh, so how about we try to experiment just a little bit? Uh, we definitely need to do something around here as well, a bit more terraforming or something like that, because it's just a big old dirt wall at the moment, and in my opinion... That doesn't look too great. It really, really doesn't. So, how about we shave off a little bit more around the edges here. And then I think we'll be just about good in terms of that particular section. Right? So, again, let's have a bit of a fly. And a turn around. You see, even just doing that has made it look a little bit better, right? So, yeah. Right, I'll tell you what. Give me a bit while my voice cracks, and then uh, I'm going to see if I can make this place look a little bit better. Maybe we get ourselves a bit of a fence going on around the edges so we don't just fall off. But at the same time, we want to make it look like it was sort of naturally there in the first place, right? I mean, I feel like by doing that, this place is going to look so much better. I really do believe that. So yeah, give me a mo, guys, and I'm going to see what I can do. Alright guys, so how about it? I've gone ahead and done the sort of ye olde normal thing of putting a bunch of bone meal on the ground. I've got a couple of large trees out the front here. Both birch woods, both the tallest variety you can get, which I think is uh, seven wood blocks tie, which is really, really awesome. But uh, yeah, we sort of go around the edge here and you guys are going to notice a bit of a pattern. We've got ourselves a bit of glowstone uh, and then leaf and then slab and then a cobblestone wall and then chisel stone, then slab. Then another wall, and then, you know, it goes it goes all the way around here, my friends, and it looks good. I really, really like this. There's even some little uh, bushes wherever I could put them. So, I've got one there. There's, like, one around here as well. You know, it's looking pretty good. And then, from the outset, this is where, you know, the progress has really been made in terms of terraforming. So, if we just go out here and then do the old soul witcheroo. Yeah, look at that. That's looking a lot more natural, isn't it? 
That terrain is looking a lot more natural. I'm really liking that. I also decided to go ahead. There was a tiny little sort of lip coming off the edge here. I decided to go ahead and uh, get rid of that entirely in favor of just having this sort of tower by itself. Look all sort of grand and all sort of, you know, nice. So that's looking pretty good. I think probably the final thing I want to do, though, is I want to cover up the glowstone uh, from being visible around the edges. Or at least do, do my best to try and do that. So all I'm going to do... Very, very simply is place down some vines to cover the glowstone so it looks a little bit more sort of embedded into the design, right? So uh, let's go around here. There's another one right there. And there's more here and here. And then there's just more all over the place, really. So there's going to be one there, one there. And then one right there. Okay, cool. So uh, let's actually get inside this place. So yeah, we can't go ahead and just jump off here and fall off anymore, which is really, really cool. Uh, now obviously, you know, we've still got some things to build up on this particular area. I'm not entirely sure what just yet, but then we need to make ourselves a bit of a pathway going down here onto, you know, this eventual uh, park area type thing. So yeah, all in all, we made a decent amount of progress in today's episode. We've got ourselves all of the pathways inside the building itself so we can get to the different floors. We've got ourselves the memento area going, you know, this little thing here. That's looking pretty cool. And then of course, we've got ourselves a bit of the exterior done as well, as well as a bit of a terraforming around the tower to make it look a little bit more natural so it's not so man-made. So yeah, looking very, very good. And ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to be the point in which I leave you guys for today's episode. So I want to go. thank you guys for watching. If I can even speak properly. God, you can really tell that this is a morning recording, can't you? I always stutter over my words and sentences so badly in the morning. It's actually really, really bad. <laughs> Oh dear. Sometimes because I talk too fast. And to be honest, that would actually not be too far away from the truth. Believe it or not, I used to go to speech therapy when I was a little child. And uh, well, sadly, that didn't really work out for me because I'm still stammering a whole bunch. So yeah, maybe I just need to learn to speak slower. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, guys, like I say, wrapping it up for today, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's episode and, of course, you're excited to see more, please do be sure to drop a like rating as it will really help out myself, the channel, and the video very much. Hit the subscribe button, ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on future content, my friends. And that's going to wrap it up for today. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Your support, as always, has been super appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next episode.